Arsenal struggled to a draw with Southampton, who had won a Premier League game or haven't won a Premier League game since September. Do you have sympathy with the Arsenal fans, Jamie, who seem to, if not losing, have already lost their patience with the manager? Yes, and I, I go back to the first Monday Night Football of last season and we had a debate about Unai Emery. And it wasn't really about Unai Emery, it was about football in general. No one was wrong, it was just different ideas. Gary's stance was, stick to your principles. Mine was, I like to see a manager adapt at different times. Unai Emery hasn't adapted. He's created confusion. Confusion in the crowd. I think confusion with his own players and confusion for himself. And in this one game against Southampton, I think in some ways it almost sums up the almost 18 months of Unai Emery, really. If I think of Unai Emery or this Arsenal team and, and how they play, they score goals because they've got great strikers. They concede goals, saw that again. They try and play out from the back and almost concede goals. They've done that. They concede 20-plus shots almost every game they play. Done that again today, at the weekend. And the manager changes formation. He had three formations at the weekend. So, I'm actually just going to look at stats, really, of Unai Emery's time from the start of last season. He's used more players than anyone. The biggest one for me, actually, is underneath. He's made changes before half-time or at half-time more than anyone. That's what you'd expect a team near the bottom of the league to be doing, just scrambling around, trying things. Well, for context on that, Jamie, 32 from Arsenal, Liverpool and Man City have made seven. Yeah, but, but that tells you all. Now, we mentioned about sticking to principles, adapting. This is a man who predominantly likes to play 4 2 three, one. We're looking at his formations. How many times he changes it? So back four or there, and what we're talking about that is that's when he's played 4-4-2 or a diamond in midfield, as we saw at Anfield this season. A back three, has he played at the weekend? How many times he's played that? So if you look at those two other systems, he's played them more than the one he prefers more than anything. And I'm actually doing him a favour in actually just calling it a back four and a back three because there's so many different formations within those as well. And, and I, I, I just look at it and I'm, I'm not quite sure what is really going on there with Arsenal and that's why the confusion is being created. And the, I think the reason the Arsenal fans are chanting for Emery to go is I think they're in this position with Arsene Wenger. Slightly different. Arsene Wenger got a lot more time at the end because he was a legend and he'd won so much. But I think Arsenal fans look back now and think the two best managers in the Premier League and possibly the world now, they missed out on because they stuck too long with the manager. And I think that's where the resentment now and the aggression from the supporters is coming from Unai Emery because they may be looking at Tottenham, maybe moving a manager on. Maybe Manchester United will be doing shortly, who knows, or in the summer. And they don't want to miss out again because at this moment, I didn't think Unai Emery is Champions League level. He's almost like Europa League level. Great career, what he's done, but it's not the level I think Arsenal need. Do you think that's unfair? I don't think he's doing him a favour. <laughs> um, look, in Spain, his reputation is so high, it's incredible. He's then gone to Paris Saint-Germain and, all right, didn't win the ultimate in terms of the Champions League. But, again, to go there and work under that level of pressure, under the, you know, the ownership there, who are demanding success like you wouldn't believe with the investment and the players that he's worked with. You know, he's been a brilliant coach. This is a fantastic coach. When it goes wrong for a fantastic coach, there's no doubt at the moment, you look at those clips there, I always think about sort of looking at that, 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 that first defence, that first goal they conceded at the weekend. That is just horrific. It's almost like it goes beyond coaching that. There's nothing you can do with players Has that do those things. Has he moved any players there, though, in his time? No, but that's my point, Dave. You can't have a, play a coach who's been a, co a great coach for the last 10 years, who's worked with great teams, who's won trophies, who's overachieved. But what's he done well? Dave, you can ask... You can try at, and play, at Arsenal, you can try and play devil's about. advocate all you like. My point is, when a coach who's had a great reputation, who's worked at the highest level, is struggling as bad as he is... You can't just think all of a sudden he's a terrible coach. There has to be other underlying reasons as to why it's not happening. Now, it might come to the same conclusion that Arsenal eventually will make a change. But the board at the moment at Arsenal, I would think, would massively split. 
They've seen what's happened at Manchester United after a long reign of Sir Alex Ferguson. They've had a long reign of Arsene Wenger. Manchester United are no further forward in terms of winning the league than they were eight years ago when they sacked David Moyes. They'll have looked at that example. They'll look at other examples where teams have been, where managers have been changed and there's been relative success and not success. I would think at the moment that the board of Arsenal are in a quandary because they won't know what to do. My view is when you're in that position as a board, if you are split, and that's what we're sort of hearing, my feeling would be you don't make a decision. You let things breathe, you let it play out, you make sure that you ultimately believe in what your original decision was until a time whereby it becomes really difficult and at a point whereby you're absolutely certain and sure that what you're going to do is going to bring success and not bring further confusion than there's already there. I, know, I, I, I agree with you. Thank in you terms of, I agree with you in terms of Unai Emery has got a, a coaching career, he's been all over the world, he's got great experience, severe... Valencia, big clubs in Spain. Arsenal fans don't care about what he's done. What they're looking at and what they're seeing at Arsenal for almost 18 months. You're saying he's a great coach, but in terms of what Arsenal's seen, I don't think a great coach allows his team to concede 20, 25 shots a game consistently. A great coach must find a way to change that and stop that. And I know what you're saying about David Luiz and Trocadis, they're not great players. But the easiest thing for anybody to coach, we both know, is to set a team up defensively and stop the opposition. The tough thing is to go and make them create and open the game up. That's the tough thing for the coach. So that is a massive worry for me that he can't stop that.